Well, let's see. Hello, YouTubers. It's that time again. Let's see if we can get this to do some video work. All right. Playing with the gimbal again. Time for the week project, weekly project. You know what it is. Yep. Mowing time. And we got an entertainment center. So, anyway, here we go. Okay. Gas needed. All right. No apology, man. We'll get gas can because I need gas for the push mower if I'm doing trim work. So hang in there. Be right back. Now, not that it is I'm a lazy individual, but trying to pour a five-gallon can of gas sometimes at lawnmowers. Yeah, it gets a little weighty. So, one of these little levels. Battery powered pump, siphoning tube. Takes either two D cell sized batteries. This one from Walmart actually came with adapters in it where you could put six AA batteries in it. So, it makes it a little easier putting gas in stuff. You don't have to hold the can, you can just. Uh, how are we going to do this? Let's do it this way. I think we won't be on camera. But we will put this here. Oh, another boring video. They're talking rain off and on all week, so I'm not going to do a hay video. I said I'd like to get the 8 out and do you a video of it. Ain't going to happen. Let's see here. Turn that low. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that low and stay. There we are. Ha. Ah. Move this over a little bit. There we go. Yeah, works out real well. Drop this in the can. I've seen reviews on these. It is handy. It takes a few seconds, so, you know. It takes a little bit of time. Oop. Wasting that precious fuel gold. Good God, what's wrong with me? Side of it on camera. Anyway, that works great for pumping gas in your lawnmowers and stuff. It's a tractor, little tractor. I put gas little tractor with it. Okay. Be back on that for now. Get the little fill of the gas cap, gas can back on, and there we go. Oops, not sure what you saw. Hopefully, it's something almost interesting. Anyway, move on to the next step. Next step. I'll show you a short clip of this working. It's my uh, 
Oh, it's the Cub Cadet series lawnmower we've gotten. It's the SC 300 HW model. It is a self-propelled mower, front wheel drive, high wheel back. Um, this is a three type method unit. You can do as I've got it set up right now where it shoots out a side chute. And I really dislike this setup because how this side chute hooks, it just hooks back here on this rod underneath this uh, cover. And you can put this cover down to mulch or to bag the grass because it does have a bagger unit bagger. There it is, hanging over on the rack. It goes on there so you can bag the grass if you want, but... Um, aggravation is if I hit this on something as I'm mowing I knock it off so I did my own personal modification a couple number six 32 screws I think it's 32 thread but anyway a couple screws just bolt up to the flap and hopefully it'll stay so anyway hang in there and I'll we'll do a little more Make a day of the video thing here on the mowing. Bore you with the lawn mowing. Hang in. And here you go. Okay, you should get my finger out of there. Okay, YouTubers, here we go. We got the trimming done with the old Cub Cadet push mower. And everything, I got a method of madness for that. Let's pop this hood. And let's check oil on the, the old Kawasaki motor. That looks good. Here, hang on a second. Bear with me. Bad shot for you. Let's wipe the dipstick off here. Wipe the dipstick off and go back in for one more check. I like to pull the dipstick, wipe it off, and put it back in, check, get a good clean check. Looks okay there. Cool. Looks good. That is by way, by the way, a liquid cooled motor in this uh, mower. We're gonna run this mower this week. Last we're in zero turn, this we're gonna run this one. So let me get situated. So hang on a minute. Now, because of safety stuff, you gotta start this mower up. You gotta have the park brake pushed in. So here you got your reverse forward park brake. You gotta have that pressed in or at least locked down. A little bit of gas. Here, inside the exhaust is giving you a start. Of course, got an electric fuel pump on it. We're full of fuel according to that gauge. So. And of course, this high dollar beast from today has a. Two hydraulic levers, one will this one here will raise and lower the mower deck. Or get the mower deck off, it'll raise it, it'll do whatever it hooked up to do. And this one will actuate another hydraulic valve. But we don't use it in many use. So anyway, being said, let's go out and all have a few seconds of this thing no, so. hang on
Okay, YouTubers, let's shut this one down for the week. Uh, yep, a long period of mowing. Got the mowing done. This time, of course, I used the deer. Eh, you know, short glimpse. Does a pretty good job. Been pretty impressed with it. Of course, I do. Change my pattern. I'm old. Points of the compass, like I mentioned before in past videos. And it don't matter what more I run, the zero turn or the garden tractor style. I get grass all over everything, and then of course it just sucks grass up against the screens. When you mow, and I still get covered with a bit of grass on me too, so but Anyway, that being said, hopefully you were somewhat entertained by the video, or at least now you know what I use to mow with. Um, hopefully, hopefully things will be decent enough. You'll be happy with the video. We're going to keep on going. I'll try to up something else for the next video. Not sure what that's going to be yet, because like I said, the rain there's forecast for rain all week this week here in my location so that means i am not going to mow this field for hay i'm very disappointed in the field but only two acres and trying to get chemical or somewhere here to spray stuff kind of paying the butt just for two acres and i'm gonna try to get a jug of chemical to kill stuff but I got a lot of stuff out there I don't really want, so I'll probably be taking this to the local sale barn, sell it off as maybe cow hay or something. Hopefully the next round will be better, a little more cleaner, but hopefully the weather will change, and maybe this week, coming weekend, because this is Tuesday, May 17th already. Crap. How's my year going? So anyway, hopefully, um, maybe Saturday or Sunday if the weather turns around, I'll get this mowed and then I can give you guys some boring hay mowing video or clipping of uh, clips or maybe some shots of the hay brake tether at work and hay bale at work. Anyway, on that, I'm going to let you go. So, if you folks take care. Thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate you. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.